Joining me now from Italy is Luca Passando, who is chairman of Etsy's latest industry standards group, the F5G. Luca, welcome to Telecom TV. Luca, first things first, what is the F5G? Well, F5G is an um, uh, initiative addressing standards as the fact that it was uh, started in uh, Etsy, which is uh, one of the most relevant SDOs worldwide. And uh, it, uh, it is all about trying to define the best uh, standards for uh, uh, the evolution needed for uh, the fixed networks, which means many things. But in fact, uh, it's focused on fixed networks standards. So I would start from that simple definition. But why the need to create a new ISG around fixed networks? What gap is this looking to fill? Well, there, there are many gaps, in fact. One could be uh, very easily mentioned, that is the fact that there has recently been a very steep evolution in the mobile networks. We have now 5G. Uh, it is... Uh, deployed, it's working, uh, the standards for mobile or wireless, if you want, but it's mobile. In fact, 5G is uh, are defined, our core network has been uh, definitely uh, finalized, etc. There will still be evolutions, but everything is uh, uh, can be deployed. What's missing? Is missing. What's missing is something on the on the fixed side to enable all that. So, one first reason is that fixed networks cannot forget to follow up what mobile is doing. But there's not just that. It is also that uh, mobile won't be able to reach everything everywhere. It is a potential yes to be very. Uh, pervasive and to reach um, in certain areas all possible customers, uh, being them uh, physical persons, companies, or just things that are uh, then connected to some private uh, network, uh, let's say consumer uh, owned networks or some uh, uh, companies, networks, etc. But from the fixed side, there needs to be an equivalent capability. We need to be able with fiber to reach as, as well very little users that can be just objects uh, in some way. That means uh, the last, uh, very last drop would always be radio possibly for Internet of Things, but we need to get as close as possible to, to these things that are connected. Not only we, we need to enable what uh, 5G, let's say, to the, the mobile communications uh, are uh, proposing with fiber connections to the uh, base station, even to the antenna, front hauling, back hauling, strongly relay on a progress on uh, fixed technology. Uh, that's not yet defined, and uh, in the past it has been defined in many different places, which is possibly not the best solution. Now, Luca, the name F5G implies an evolutionary approach to fixed network standards, um, in line perhaps with what's been happening with cellular for decades now. Is this intended as a kind of parallel organization to what's happening in cellulars through GPP? Well, in fact, uh, we don't know yet what exactly it will be the, the future of this initiative. We, we aim uh, at uh, starting very uh, strong, let's say, being able to deliver what are new standards, but also proposals about what other organizations, not ISD, 
FIG only, but uh, all the other organizations that are active nowadays and they have been for decades need to do. We don't want to replace those organizations. It has to be very clear. We want to collaborate. We want to be able to influence. We want to be able to contribute. We want to be able to be uh, uh, constructing with them a single picture of the of the fixed network. So that is not possible if we just sit in our room, try to think and describe and define our specifications, and then we don't talk to the other organizations. That won't work. We need a strong interaction, which, uh, of course, will evolve uh, in some way, hopefully becoming stronger and becoming more structural. We will start from a very humble viewpoint. That is, uh, we start talking to them via the usual channels, organizations that define standards normally talk to each other using liaison, liaison statements. But not only we, we want to contribute, we want the same delegates to sit in both tables and to go to the other group, let's say BDF, let's say ITUT SG15 or SG11, doesn't matter. And they contribute, they bring uh, contributions that are then discussed and generate standards in those organizations. So you mentioned the, uh, the number of, of, of various SDOs and groups that are developing standards already and the need to, to work alongside them and with them. Um, I can see how this evolutionary sort of generation type approach would benefit the operators and the, and the vendors. But when we look at mobile and, and cellular generations, that also had an attraction to the end users and, and consumers. It created this, this excitement, this, this sort of this wave of going from one generation to another. That's not something we've really seen with broadband, fixed broadband so far. But is this a possibility going forward? Well, you know, a real consumer market is definitely more influenced by the evolution, by the evolution of mobile uh, technology at least because it, it is uh, you know we we have these objects in our hands uh, every day every moment now uh, but uh, we also enjoy uh, um, entertainment uh, video games uh, and in the future virtual reality uh, and these things uh, when we sit in our in our uh, sitting room, uh, on our sofa, with a drink, uh, we can connect to friends. Uh, we can uh, uh, play games uh, on the internet, uh, connecting with and um, play against and uh, with uh, people that are spread around the world. All this is uh, perceived as a value from the customers, and and uh, so there is, there can be expectations on that side from the, the end users, from the customer, from the, the consumer market here, because that's the real differentiation. And uh, the more if we are able to say that what is an expected evolution from the mobile side, on the mobile side will also be something that matches and is not followed, but it comes at the same time and it comes uh, along with a change on the fixed network side. So we are able to say from now on your 4K TV is in fact 8K TV and it's enabled by an evolution on the, on the broadband connection that you have at your home thanks to fi fiber improvements. All that is, is uh, for sure driving the market. Plus we have all the market that is enormous and is continuously developing at an incredible pace. That is the market of the, of the industry, which needs more and more broadband connection and can't rely only on mobile because of the evident limits that are the interference limits, that are the, the fact that we cannot exceed certain limits in uh, in uh, the amount of power that we spread in the air to be able to 
connect devices. So, and we, we cannot even implement a, a powerful mobile disregarding what the, the amount of, of connections we, we deploy and what the amount of power is. We cannot create it if, it, if we don't have those mentioned front holding and back holding that follow up or, or are even there before waiting and enabling the deployment of a new mobile technology. So for sure, there are several, several sites on which we have to work together with the mobile. And there are some parts where we need to be, say, let's say independent, which doesn't mean we, we have to disregard what mobile does, not at all, but where we have uh, our own uh, targets and uh, expectations from the end users, being them uh, industry or consumer. So, Luca, what happens now? This ISG is brand new. Etsy has only just announced its formation. What are the first steps that you're taking? Well, the first step is definitely to start working. We have now a quite a good plan of activities, which are one, the five work items defined at the, the first kickoff meeting, and a schedule for our online and face-to-face -face meetings for the rest of the year, the face-to-face -face and uh, for uh, the first quarter ahead of us, the, the online uh, conference calls that will be uh, very well paced and periodical. So in that way, we, we hope to uh, show that uh, we are able to do things and uh, also to gather more contribution which will, which will speed up things uh, and uh, extend to all the possible, that uh, we know are very many possible uh, aspects that we have to address. So yeah, the, in fact, uh, that is what we need to do. And of course, we don't need to do that alone for so long. We need to start the activities in our group, define what we really want to do in detail uh, in our documents. But the next step is as soon as possible, as soon as something detailed is defined, move towards other organizations. Of course, that can be done in different ways uh, at a higher level before, but when we go to the technical side, that will be in a few months we will have contributions, proposals ready also for those groups. And of course, we want a bilateral communication. We don't want to tell them what to do. We want them to be part of a discussion that will make things, the results, much better. Well, we shall follow developments with great interest. But for now, Luca, thank you very much for joining us on Telecom TV. You're welcome. Thank <laughs> you.